Hey everyone, and welcome to Academy of Mine. Today, we're gonna learn how to upload and customize video modules in your LMS. In this video, you're gonna learn how to upload videos with third-party providers like YouTube or Vimeo, or directly upload an MP4, prevent users from skipping ahead in a video, adding subtitles to videos, and more. Using video content in your LMS is a great way to make on-demand courses more engaging for the user regardless of your industry or type of training you are offering. Training videos add personality and variety to e-learning, and when used correctly inside of an online course, they can help users grasp difficult concepts and retain information well. Since video modules are pre-recorded, your company can use them to train more efficiently and maintain consistency across all curriculum. For example, let's say you're offering safety training to an industrial manufacturer, and one of the videos is teaching employees about how to safely operate heavy machinery. Your training video could show an employee in the warehouse using machinery in five incorrect ways before showing viewers how to properly operate the equipment. And without further ado, let's get started. So in the admin dashboard, we're going to click Courses, Videos, Create Video Module. Now let's name this module and select our upload method. Right now I'm going to use a YouTube URL for this. And so after selecting a method, all I have to do is copy and paste the URL here. Next, we have the option to attach a cover image. Obviously this looks a lot better before clicking play inside of the video module for students. After that's done, we have the option to enter a description here. This will display to students while viewing this module in the course. And last but not least, we have a couple of options. The first option is track completion. Now when track completion is on, this makes it so students have to watch the video till the end for it to be recorded as completed. Next, let's disable forward seeking so that students are not able to skip forward in the video. With both track completion and forward seeking on, students are required to watch a video for its full length in order to have their progress recorded as complete. After you've done that, let's go ahead and save the module. Now let's go back into courses and include this video inside of one of the courses. So after clicking on the course that you would like to add this video in, go to curriculum and let's actually add this module. So since we already created the module, all you have to do is type the name in the search box here and click it. Now, since we already have disable forward seeking and track completion toggled on, users will be forced to watch the whole video for it to be considered as completed. But if you didn't have those, you could specify a minimum amount of time required to be spent by students in the module here. Additionally, Let's say this video was the first module inside of the course, and you could do that just by dragging the module up. In that case, if you wanted to require students to watch this before moving forward, you could lock the module here. Now, after saving the course, when we view this as a student, you can watch the video here. And as you can see, since I have disable forward seeking on, students are not allowed to skip forward during the video. Also, if I required a 100% passing rate in my course, since this video is being tracked, if users completed every module before this one, but didn't fully watch this video, they would not be able to pass the course. All right, so I decided I wanna upload a video directly instead of using this YouTube URL. Let's go back to videos and edit this module. So I'm gonna change the upload method to direct, and then I'm going to upload my file over here. With direct uploads, you have the option to create subtitles. So right now I'm going to create some simple subtitles for this video. So basically you need to create a web VTT file, which sounds overwhelming, but it's actually really easy and only takes a few minutes. And this allows you to create subtitles saying whatever you would like, wherever in your video. For example, the subtitles here in this video from one to five seconds, my subtitles will say this and from five to 15 seconds, my subtitles will read this and so forth. We have documentation on how to create these subtitles very easily. And if you would like to learn now, I actually have a video I'll put on the screen. All right, so now that my new video is saved with subtitles, let's check it out. After we start from the beginning of the video, we see the subtitles and the new video playing that was directly uploaded.
Thanks for watching. I hope this helps your e-learning and training programs, and we'll see you next time.